A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Those who had been fed by the five loaves followed Jesus to the other side of the lake and asked him for a sign that they should believe in him. Jesus said to them, No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person on the last day. It is written in the prophets, And they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, brothers and sisters, we're getting into the teaching of Jesus where he speaks more and more about his body being our strength, being that sacrament, but being that treasure that will help us, will feed us, our souls, our bodies towards eternal life, because we're going to become more like He is. And that's why Jesus says more and more, who eats my body and drinks my blood will have eternal life. And that, notice that all these days, there's that return to after He fed them with the five loaves. Now, in this time when churches are closed, when we can't really go to church to thank God, to even consume the Eucharist, we have to ask ourselves, has He fed me? We have to ask ourselves, did I actually go to Jesus, go to Mass consciously that He is feeding me with His body, He is making me new, He is giving me strength to become like He wants me to be? Because very often, if we think about it, we treat Mass like that going to a feast. Forgetting that going to the feast isn't yet eating the food. We could be at a feast, at a party, and for dietary reasons, for any restrictions, not eat a single thing. That's why Jesus asks us, when you do come to me, both in the Eucharist, both in the Sacrament of Confession, both when you pray to me at home, are you letting me feed you? Are you actually all there, all conscious and all aware of what's happening? It's a good time in this global retreat that we're living out right now to ask myself, did I actually use those sacraments as a, those visible signs of God's invisible grace? And did I let it change me? Have a blessed day. And God bless, please stay safe on this beautiful Thursday.